Hello! What's going on, everybody? And by everybody, I mean who's in here today? What's going on? Got a couple folks in. What's happening? Chip Parker, Escore P, Ryan Gale, Nikki, good to see y'all. How we doing? We're hanging out. Tell me if uh, we're having any issues with the uh, with the levels and stuff, because, well, this is our... This is the first time. This is the first live stream of the painting variety. Yeah, we're going to be doing some... Uh, we're going to be doing some miniature painting. Got a couple things on deck. Uh, we got a battle report uh, that we're going to be filming this weekend. We're uh, going to be doing some Star Wars Legion, so you see something a little different on the painting desk uh, here today. We've got our uh, our lovely lovely little Han Solo, or well, it's a, it's a Han Solo proxy. So Justin's coming into the studio. We're going to be doing a uh, battle report this weekend. And I've got some minis to paint, so I figured, well, what in the heck? If I'm going to be painting them, why not paint them? on on stream so let's uh let's get to it i've got to uh, let you guys know a bit of what we're doing for this battle report we're gonna be doing sort of like a battle of endor uh sort of proxy sort of thing and speaking of proxies i couldn't get my hands on the han solo uh model and i wanted to have han coming into the battle and so i did a little proxying here you can see we've got our ugh, we've got our han han i don't know we have to come up with a name with him for the end of the day there's actually three models I kitbashed all together uh, to make this guy here. So we've got the agent, was it the, not the agent Callus head, but uh, Gideon Hask head, an arm from like uh, one of the comms troopers and just like a regular trooper body. And it's going to be our proxy Han Solo. We got a couple other heroes that are going to be coming along for the ride. I've already got Chewie here, pretty much good to go. I'm going to do a little bit of work on him here today depending on how things go. Uh, and we've got uh, Leia in here somewhere as well, who's gonna be joining the assault on the Imperial bunker. Well, there you go, Justin's gonna be playing the Rebels because he's he's a Rebel scum, and I'm gonna be doing the Imperials because I like to play the bad guys. So, there you go. So everyone's uh, gonna be hanging out for a little while, I'm not sure how long we'll, we'll go for. I'm uh, a little sick, as you can tell, I'm a little under the weather. My, um, my throat and my voice is disappearing, so I'll, I'll be as chatty as I can. Uh, for for while we're going at it, but let's get to let's get rolling with our uh, with our guy here Just gonna make sure that I can see the chat and the, and what I'm painting here at the same time And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a bit of an experiment for myself uh, and hopefully for you guys as well Not just playing Star Wars Legion on the channel, but um, but doing Doing a painting live stream. So I'm gonna get going here. I got uh, Hans Base coats pretty much good to go. I'm gonna do a little bit of work right here on his pants his little pantaloons Gonna make them blue and that Corellian blood stripe in there, but uh, got some. What is it we got here? Talisar blue. I'm using as a base coat for his little pantaloons of the contrast paint variety. So uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know what you all want to chat about here in the stream. I uh, we're gonna go, we're just, let's say no spoilers. I know this is a Star Wars stream today, but uh, I haven't seen the third episode. Of, uh, of Mando yet so no no Mando spoilers let's say no spoilers for for anything that's uh, not a week old yet so that'll apply to last of us and well, I guess Mando I guess that's about it I've actually been binge watching the uh, the Wu-Tang docuseries on uh, on Crave, and uh, man, it's fucking great. The last like two days, I've burned through the first first season. If you're into that old school hip hop, highly highly recommend. I have been wanting to listen to Wu Tang on the stream today, but I don't think we're big enough to get the rights. I don't know, RZA, get at me. If we could, if we could play some Wu Tang on the stream. Let me know what you guys think of the track selection too that we got in the background here. I was hoping for something a little Star Wars themed, but again, finding uh, royalty free stuff ain't always the easiest. What's uh, what's everybody else painting in there today? See Ryan Gale, what you got, buddy? Working on some 15, oh, 15 millimeter Blood Knights for Age of Fantasy. Nice. Waiting for Bear Force for Million Rangers to drop. Did those drop today? Oh, to print out. Oh, okay, you're printing out. They're already out. I thought, I was going to say, I thought they were already out. They look sick. 
Can't wait to see what you do with the, the bear force stuff. Looks rad. That uh, that power armor guy with like the bear pauldron. Yeah, big fan, big fan. The vermilion stuff is fucking cool. I might um, actually got a couple on the painting desk too. Once uh, once I'm done with Han here, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll switch gears to uh, to Fallout. I got a, a vermilion suicider. Daniel Conway, you Dan, you got some, uh, some, oh, called arms vampires on the desk. Nice. I've got, oh, frick, I've got some vampires to go to my dude. I've got, I've got so many vampires, actually. I got most of them, most of them ready to go. But, um, but yeah, I need those card packs to drop. But, um, I, I guess they're out and people are starting to get them now, which is good. Um, but, uh, I still haven't gotten mine. Yeah, the Q, Q never ends, my dude. Q never ends let's uh you know what let's go on to i've been having a lot of fun with skin tones lately actually i've been um you what this is the way it's going for me in the hobby these days what used to be my least favorite thing is slowly becoming something i'm really enjoying working on and skin tones is one of those um uh, at first it was bases over the last like i don't know six months i've just really got into basing and just really enjoyed it um, i don't know if i'm particularly good at it you can see with some of these oh, my speeder bikes here Woo. Just super simple, just to take like the regular Legion base. Three colors, three tones, and away you go. Um, and I've just been really enjoying it. And skin tones is that for me right now. So I've been I've been screwing around with Bugman's Bugman's glow because it seems to be what everybody uses is like a, a, a base tone. Um, but I wanted to try something a little bit different for Han today. So you guys are gonna be you guys are gonna be witness witness me my experiment. I'm gonna do. Um, I've got I did a little like slap chop just underpainting. Um, undercoat to his face uh with like a light gray to give a bit of a zenithal kind of deal uh i was gonna base coat in gullum and flesh contrast get on the fucking slap chop train because that's what everybody seems to be doing it's not new but it's a cool name and it works and i, I do like it um so i'm gonna undercoat with the gilliman and then try to bring in some of like the blood as strange as that sounds to the um so, you know, the, the cheekbones and stuff with the Bugmans and then do some highlights there. So we'll see how that works out. So witness me with the Ghoulie Man. Flourish. What primer do I use, Escort P? That's a great question. Uh, been on a bit of a different kick um, these days. I was on a Vallejo, if I'm saying that correctly, Vallejo. Um, uh, Wolf Grey, uh, I seem to like gray. Um, rather than just like black or white um, because it um, you can kind of play with it for lighter colors dark colors right um, it, it takes pretty well um, cheers Devin good to see you um, but I've been, uh, I've been I've been trying to do airbrush priming lately and I'm actually not really a fan it's quick and it's easy but I'm, uh, I'm still pretty new to the airbrush and um, cleaning it is a pain and primer in particular um, gets pretty pretty gunked up in there. So I've been using um, some still Vallejo stuff, um, but the uh, airbrush uh, or just spread on surface primer. And um, it's nice, it's really smooth. Um, if I'm doing like, you know, just like one off models, I'm doing something bigger. I just got like a rattle can. Actually, I'll dig it out of the desk here because I'm actually fucking loving this stuff. Nothing fancy, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch of the, ugh, flat black variety but I've just guzzled through this can um, and it's not the cheapest but you just get it at the hardware store and um, hot damn is it is it good I, I like its flatness almost more than the Vallejo stuff so um, but yeah rattle can like honestly tends to be my um, my go-to so I don't know maybe maybe I didn't um, maybe I didn't slap maybe I didn't slap or chop him enough but uh, the, the Gilliman's just kind of give me just a little bit. Maybe this is what I'm. Maybe this is what I want after all. But it's just kind of just bringing a little bit of tone to those lighter areas. Sorry, Aaron. Don't try to get this on camera. Like I said, this is a brand new painting stream, so of course correct me as we go here, fam. But um, yeah, so it's just brought a little bit of tone to those brighter areas. It's a little, a little bright. Put it against my flesh, you can see there. I'll give that a sec to dry, and then we'll uh, we'll go in with some bugmans to get some real color. They are best used on bright on bright primers, Escorpi. That's just what I'm trying to achieve here. I've got the the, the lighter 
the lighter underpainting over the dark. Like, I, don't, I don't think I went to uh, harden the paint literally um, on the um, on, on the undercoat. So it's 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 not coming through as as much as I'd hope, but uh, it's still giving him a bit of a base coat. So we'll uh, we'll see how that rolls. Falkman, thanks for coming in, man. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching the channel. Just got it a few days ago. Oh, you're brand new. Nice. One of us. One of us. That's great. Um, yeah, welcome. Welcome. Uh, yeah, enjoy enjoy what you see here on the channel. It's a bit of a different thing today because we're doing Star Wars, but um, but uh, yeah, there's um, trying trying to uh, glad the videos are helping with the rules and stuff because yeah, trying to do more of those the, the shorter the little rules on the run ones. Um, have been fun. Speaking of which, Battle Cry. I tried, guys. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, did it really matter? Battle Cry, that fucking rule. I'll say it. Recapping that thing in 60 seconds was impossible. I didn't do a good job. Well, I did an okay job. Just highlighting his pants. Little, little highlights on his pants. But uh, what do we got? Intense blue. Going intense. It's a little too intense. I'm going to water it down a bit. But yeah, recapping that rule, Jesus. It took it took two weeks to to try to get that in, in any sort of effective way. But um, yeah, it was tricksy. It was tricksy. No miniatures in the queue for a couple weeks, Chip. Oh, good for you, my friend. That means it's time for more. What well, should we? Uh, Coming your way soon, actually. Got, um, yeah, the last giveaway stuff's out the door, which took me a while to get out, because, uh, well, it's been hard times and maritimes over here, even though it's not, well, it's not the maritimes here in Toronto, but as the saying goes, awesome to see Legion on the channel. Private Parakeet, thank you. Main game, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, guys. Like, I mean, Fallout, it's, it, you know, it's what, it's what got the channel going. It's, it's, it's where we live, right? But, um, but I'm really enjoying Legion. It feels, I'm really enjoying games that, like, if they're based on an IP, if they play, like, if they get it right, you know what I mean? Um, and, and I haven't played a game of Legion where I haven't been like, oh, that's not a Star Wars moment. Like, it all, it all matches. Like, but like. Boba Fett is, I'm um, just absolutely loving him. I, I, I think I like his old card better. But, um, yeah, just like rocketing across the, the battlefield and like drop dropping rockets and shit. The Mandalorians are cool. Army Painter Speed Paint said, ooh, yeah, it's cartoony. Yeah, that's, um, that's, that's a fair assessment, I think. They're, they've got a look. They've got a look. I've only played with a couple of them. Um, and I think there's a reason why. Now I'm trying my best to like build some volume on these pants where, where Han's pants should have some volume, not these like baggy trooper pants like these guys. I'll show you some of the other models that I did. So this is my Rebel Force here. I'll be playing on Saturday. And um, they got like these like dump truck asses and like these <laughs> fucking uh, pants. So like we all know like Hans, Hans freaking toit pants um, that he's rocking, and these are not them. So I'm trying to like strategically highlight where, or or not highlight actually where there's a lot of bulk to these, especially in, like the knee pads and stuff you can see there. So anyway, that's my story about how not Hans pants are going. Do we need a name for this guy, Han? Han Solo, Han F FOMO, no, Han somewhat, Han someone, question mark, we'll come up with it. But yeah, I'm excited to get uh, Legion on the channel here too, actually. Um, yes, her heroic proportioned pants, they are, they are heroic, maybe we'll tackle, uh, you know what, you know what Han's pants need, they need the blood stripe, yo. The blood stripe. Yeah, really excited to get um, solo, not solo on the channel. Uh, excited to get uh, Legion 
up here on the channel. I'll get some red for these blood strapper paints. What do we got? Let's go. Ooh, vampire red. This is a free hand. Man, what am I doing? First time on a live stream. Han shot first. Boom. Nikki nailed it. Han Furulo. Those are good. Those are good. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm doing a free hand on my first ever live painting stream. This is very this is a very different beast from uh uh well obviously our our live play live streams because well it's a completely different thing but um even like the you know handful of painting and and uh, han solo brown coat the um the uh like, like you know the few you know painting tutorial type videos that i do have time to get around to doing are you know strategic i can you know get a couple brush strokes of each color and then move on right the most time is actually spent painting the thing or working on the thing versus you know editing it so this is very different you guys get to see how the saucisse gets made and uh we're about to see it in real time with a red free hand on a blue pant let's see how much i fuck this up shall we of course it's a weird angle too here oh just a little guy well, luckily there's a bit of a quasi mold line here I can follow so that's all right it's the one time where a mold line is your friend I'm painting a Karelian blood stripe yeah hoping to do uh yeah some like themed you know legion battles um of course in my head I was like okay so we'll start at Clone Wars and we'll uh, you know work our way up and then we'll do uh, you know all the movies independently it's like okay or could just, you know, use the core set and not spend $6,000 on Legion. Um, so, we're going to start with Endor is the plan. Because um, that's, you know, I got the core set and already had Chewie, so... And uh, I had to do a little work with old... To make ourselves a Han here, but that'll do. Well, that's alright. You see there. It's a little bright with the, uh, the ring light, but... Um, for a first layer there, that'll do. That'll do. His other side going, which is actually be kind of tough with the. Which I flip his, flip his coat over. Sip, sipperoo, sip, sip, sipperoo. Pay no attention to the label on the can. It's just soda water. All right, this is proving difficult. <laughs> Too much on the brush here. Very, very ginger. You can't really see this anyway. I'm breaking the, if you can't see it, don't paint it rule. You guys can't even see. I can't even really well show it on camera. But um, we'll just get a little, little splash of happy little blood stripe in there, just to show that it exists, or to fool the eye that it exists, perhaps. Well, with his uh, face-ish layer done there, which he didn't really do much, but I'm curious. It's, a, it's an experiment. We're we're playing around here, gang. Um, let's try now the Rebugan's glue. To get uh, some real color on those Corellian cheeks here. So the real question is, Han Solo or Luke Skywalker? And there is a correct answer. And that there, there's and there's no preface. That's just it. Let's get this in some of the darker areas here. Might just end up giving his whole face a coat, but we'll see how this plays. Han, yeah, I mean, he's kind of the man. Okay, for bonus points, Han Solo or Dash Rendar? And yes, this is a test. <laughs> I can see my kit bash decapitation job there on his neck. 
Well, you could if this camera would stop blowing it the fuck out. Jesus. Playing with a new... I've got a new uh, uh, camera for specifically the top-down desk stuff that I'm, that I'm doing these days. Um, I'm still learning the ins and outs of it. It's got the... Uh, it's got a built-in light, which sucks, or sucks-ish. I can't really turn it off, which is a problem. And it's worse than my regular ring light, so the two of them do not play nice, but we're playing around. You can see how the exposure jumps like that, right? Yeah. Anyway, inside baseball bullshit. You guys don't actually care how this turns out. You're just here to hang out, so there you go. The Gideon Hask f head, I gotta say, works for Han. The haircut's not right. It's a little too hipster. The whole undercut thing going on. But, there you go, it's not bad. I'll get in there with some blending in a bit here. Blocked in layers will do. Gotta say, with this heroic scale, too, it plays well with black lighting, I find. Intentionally leaving some shadows or putting them in with, with black. Um, maybe it's just that cartoony kind of look, it kind of plays well. Like, have you ever seen, like, some of the. Oh, fuck, what's his name? But, um. Man, I can't believe I can't remember it. But one of the guys. Um, my favorite um, Legion, uh, not Legion, Crisis Protocol uh, painter. He does these amazing comic book style, like with the inking, like it looks like, you know, 90s, late, early thousands. Marvel stuff, and it's amazing. I'm really pumped for Legion. It's gonna be really great to uh, try something a little bit different on the channel. And like, I, I, uh, this is a, a year in the making now because, well, I said I was gonna do it last year, the last calendar year, and that didn't happen. Is it Mike at Epic Duck Studios? It is Mike at Epic Duck Studios. Ryan Gale, thank you. Yeah. Check him out. Um, his his le uh, Legion. God, I keep saying Legion. His uh, Crisis Protocol videos are unreal. I when I got into the game, I discovered his his channel, and I was like, "This is how I want to. This is how I want to paint these minis. This is how I want to try. Excuse me, to paint these minis." Um, and I did with the the Spider Man because he has an amazing Spider Man tutorial. Um, McGibbon, good to see you, bud. Yeah, Star Wars Legion, bring on the battle reports, you see it. Um, yeah, but, um, yeah. Epic Duck, just so cool. Um, yeah, I gave, gave it a try with my um, with my Spider-Man to do his tutorial, and like, nope, not a chance. He does inks really well, um, which I've only started playing around with in the airbrush. Um, but, um, yeah, he uses, like, like, uses them like panel liners, which I guess is really what they are. Um, and they're pretty, pretty wild. I'm feeling pretty good about our bug mini, our, our blood coat, if you will, uh, to his skin layer. Getting in there with the, where his Gideon Hask head meets his rebel trooper body and not completely fucking up the shirt I already half painted is difficult, but. It's a kit bash, guys. Come on, he's up. I'm liking the rebels more and more. I uh, I gotta say, I mean, I am a rebel. I am a you know, I am a freedom fighter with both the Death Star, down with imperialism, guy in real life. But it's a tabletop game. Um, immediately, I was like, nope, I'm playing Empire. Fuck that. Um, they're just too cool, man. And you got stormtroopers. You got the stormtroopers. They're the best dressed bad guys in in history. They're so fucking cool. Um, so I, I I went hard. I went hard on the. Uh, Imperials right out, of, right out of the gate and got the Special Forces. Um, so I just played Battlefront 2 
and, you know, simping over Iden Versio, as you do. Um, I was like, yeah, I need that unit in my life. And it all just kind of worked out kismet because now here we are kit bashing old Gideon Hask's head onto a rebel trooper body with a weird kit bashed gun to uh, make us a Han Solo. The Dark Trooper. Dark Troopers are fucking cool, I gotta say. And remember, we're, we're doing a no spoilers. We're doing no spoilers for anything that's a week out. So that includes episode two of Mando. And I haven't seen episode three yet, so don't ruin it for me. But um, season, season, older seasons of Mando are fair game. So I'm gonna talk about that. I fucking loved how they brought Dark Troopers back. Um, anytime they bring something from Legends back into canon, forget it. I'm done. I'm done, man. Um, and specific, and like Dark Troopers, like old school Jedi Knight, man, like Dark Forces video game, fucking 1990, whatever. Yeah, dude. I remember going over to my buddy Steven Carlson's house. Oh, so you best believe your boy was not, was not able to, I was, I wasn't getting no shoot em up games. But, um, but old Steve-O had him, so we went over there and played Dark Forces all the goddamn time. So, when they brought Dark Troopers in with Mando, holy crow, I lost my friggin' mind. So cool. And I will have to get them at some point. I'm sure, for my empire. But I think once, once I get some more games in my belt, I think the, the Rebels are growing on me, though. Gotta say. Whoa, back up a second. Ryan, Gale, we have confirmation on Dash Rendar? Please explain. Dash Rendar is my low-key favorite character. And I did not know he is actually, he's been pulled from the legends back into canon. And this is, this is newsworthy all on its own, fam. I guess he should do his little glubby gloves before going down more of his face. We'll see. Use eye sockets quick. I remember seeing a ship that looked very Outrider-like in um, in the end of Rise of Skywalker. Saw a YT. Was a YT thirteen hundred? Am I that big of a fucking nerd? Or is that? Or is that the? Or is that the Falcon? Whatever it is, I remember seeing an Outrider looking craft in there, and that gave me some goosebumps. They can dash and leap over in there doing the thing. Yeah, Dark Forces nostalgia, big time, Daniel. 2400, thank you, George. YT2400. Uh, we, were, we, were we were not affluent growing up, but um, I remember one Christmas, the rents broke the bank on the Outrider fucking ship action figure. If I still had that now, oh my god, it would be a Legion terrain piece. Oh, there were Dark Troopers in Empire at War. Ah, you know what? I think I remember that too. That was a great game. For the Disney days, which I don't actually mind, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll say it right here, right now. I do not hate on the Disney flicks. Are they my favorite? Hell no. I don't dislike them. He was confirmed in Solo, a Star Wars story, Tales from Vendora. Don't even know what that is. Is that a um, is that a companion book? Because I'm gonna read the shit out of it. I will read the hell out of that. I read the. Uh, I remember reading the, um, the Han Solo trilogy. This is now Legends material as well as a kid, which I honestly think has a way better backstory for our boy. Oh, confirmed as part of Star Wars tie-in novel. Oh my God. Well, there you go. I got something to read now. Thank you. Thank you, team. 
that just that just honestly made my day because when I was making this guy, I was thinking, well, you know what? I could use him as a I could use Han as a proxy dash in some other battles. So, because I've been looking, I've been looking because there's so many 3D prints for this game, which is amazing. The community out there and how it's been, I guess, embraced by Fantasy Flight games or mostly embraced. I'm doing his gloves kind of like a deer skin sort of ochre khaki sort of thing here. Tales from Vandor. You got the dash file, my dude. I was gonna say, but I, like, I've seen a couple and <laughs> my kingdom for a dash Rendar 3D print that doesn't look like a douchebag. All the ones I see, well, I mean, I know he's jacked, right? We know like he's, he's a big boy. He's like, you know, he's like the muscle Han. But, um, but the, one, the ones, the ones I see, I'll, I'll, I'm curious is there's, I seen a, a scene, I saw a one recently, like just the other day that came out that, um, that that was pretty cool. Um, but I seen a couple before that, that I liked and a couple that I really didn't. So I'm curious. Dashing smuggler. Yes. Okay. That's, that's the one that I do like my dude, you are coming through. Um, Chief Resin Officer, Ryan Gale, coming through once again. You know, I know these are modeled as gloves, but I think I hate them in this color. We'll come back to it. Maybe it's just because it's not quite symmetrical. It's got one arm rolled up because I got this kit bashed arm. One sleeve, I'm sorry, rolled up. We'll see. This new webcam's blowing out the high colors too in a way that I do not appreciate. But, hey, you live, you learn. Alanis Morissette. And this is what uh, this is what the stream's all about. This is what the channel's all about. Just trying shit out. about kit bashing a Han Solo and painting him mediocrely. It's good to see so many people here. I was honestly, I wasn't sure. I didn't know. I didn't know. But you like me. You really like me. Man, I gotta say, pull back the curtain. It's honestly like everything, <laughs> everything I or we do here at the channel. It's just like, well, this feels like a good idea. Should we try it? Will anyone like it? I don't know. Let's do it anyway. Ah, fuck. I'll go back in with his arm there. So it's nice to see. How many? We got 27 folks in here today. Oh, I'm, I'm all right with that. I'm gonna call that a success. Hoping to do these more often. We'll see. We'll see. I'm having, I'm enjoying myself personally. Like I said, I would be doing this anyway because we got a battle report to film on Saturday. I'm very excited. The bunker is, I'll pull the bunker over in a minute and show you guys. It's, um, it's very cool. It's very cool. I've been eyeing it up for a very long time um, and finally decided to pull the trigger. Yeah, like Dark Empire 2 brought back the Emperor of how the Rise of Skywalker did. Yeah. Dark Empire was also clone, right? I remember reading the Dark Empire comics. I never read the book. If I'm remember if I've got my Legends chronology, chronology up to snuff. That's where Luke uh, goes dark side. To fill his father's place. But it's all like a ruse, right? So you can get in close with clone palps. Clone palps. The worst kind of palps. Okay, I know I said earlier that I don't have many gripes with the Disney things, but I, that's my one, is how palps came back. Well, not how he came back. how it's all very decidedly not Palpatine for two movies and then just like, ha! Ah! Oh, sorry, I spiked the mic. Anyway, that's all we need to say about that. Still, I watch the shit out of those movies. I don't care. Good 
Because there was a point in time, guys, I'm sure you all remember well where all there was was three fucking movies and a Christmas special. That sucked. And, uh, yeah, she's never been a better time to be a nerd or to like just, you know, good storytelling. It's all Star Wars ever was. Or just telling of a good story. I don't know if it was good storytelling. Because it's the only story ever. See, Hero's Journey. What's a fucking good Hero's Journey, though? Let's do some work on the Blasta. Because I hate these gloves. Oh, the, my brand of water. Yes, indeed. It's a new brand of water that I'm trying out here infused with Mother Nature's glory. Which, like, I live in Canada, so Mother Nature's glory is legal. But YouTube's an American company, so we'll just keep it off. <laughs> off camera. Blaster! Blaster! Hardly know her. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna paint this weird, weird barrel. It's actually a scope from a uh, 40k assault bolter, assault bolter, auto auto bolter, um, and like the weird fleet trooper pistol, which is the stupidest goddamn gun in all of Star Wars. Weird pointy, uncircumcised wiener looking thing. I hate that gun. Um, but I think I can make this look kind of cool. Just a little bit of contrast. Nothing fancy. I was tempted to do some metallics, but haven't really done any metallics on any of my Legion stuff. Just because, well, I don't know. I guess like when I think of Star Wars blasters and things like that, like I don't. I don't think metal, you know? Like, lightsaber, sure. I don't know, I, it, it, maybe it's just in my, maybe it's just me, but in my head it always feels like it's like, you know, Durasteel or some, you know, some like weird plaz, plaz tech. A substance that's harder than the sun. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I've been doing to Daniel. I've been doing, um, Kind of like, uh, I haven't done anything on the Stormtrooper weapons yet. That might be tomorrow's tomorrow's task to give them a little bit of pop. But on the uh, the Rebel Troopers, I just gave just like a super, super dark matte black. And then a um, this uniform black, which I fucking love, actually. Big shout out to AK Interactive. Um, not shout out, because that did not give me any money. But I love this color. Um, uniform black. It's black, but it's not super black. It's like Eschen Gray. So like it dries blacker than it looks, but Beskar, yes, Skywatch. Beskar, I think metal for sure. But like when I think like like the guns, like when I think like a stormtrooper's blaster, I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. But uh, but yeah, and then and then I did a dry brush of uniform gray um, to kind of give it like a sort of weathered-ish look, but I didn't go full metallic. Um, I kind of like how it looks. I was tempted to do like kind of like a muzzle burn on it as well. Maybe we'll get there. But again, I've got like so many models to paint before this battle report. Thank you, Chip. I am enjoying this kit bash myself. Not the gloves. Don't like the gloves. I have to, might have to come back to the gloves. But I painted them light enough that I think I can go back in with something darker. And I don't know. We'll see how it dries. Or maybe I'll just stop worrying about it. It's probably the easy. You know what's the easiest thing to do? Just stop giving a fuck. Stuck in traffic on your way home, George. Well, we're happy to see you, my friend. Go get any distracted driving tickets now. Well, Han, my dude, or not Han? Let's uh, let's do your hair, I guess, just to get you. Table ready, or you know, paint on all your parts. You know, we can go and worry about the rest later. Han Solo has brown hair, but there's a lot of brown on this model. 
I'll do a little, I'll do a little darker than the coat. Give a little contrast. Yuri, you're in the chat, my dude. Justin, what's happening, guy? And Chip, you did become a named character in the stream on, uh, whatchamacallitville, Sunday. Chip Parker? Oh, I guess, I, does, does the no spoiler rules apply to our own channel? I guess it must. It must. If it, if it applies, it, apply, it applies to one, it applies to all. So no spoilers, Chip, other than you are a character now. Um, so there you go. Actually, there is one of, one of three. One of three. There was Chip got a name drop. Uh, Surprise Bullet got in there. And there's one more. Richie. Richie Warden. If you too want to become a named character, then uh, come watch the stream and uh, join our Patreon. But that's not this stream, that's a different stream. But What up, Yuri? Everyone say hi to Justin. Justin's in the chat. Oh, well, Justin appeared. Gang, I gotta say, I got new. Ryan Gale still waiting for the Brotherhood. I know, man, I know. We got, we got power armor in the game now, but it's not, it's not the kind we like. It's not the kind I enjoy. Past season spoilers are okay, correct. It's a, we're, we're going to one week no spoiler rule. So if you, uh, if it's media that came out within the last week, please refrain from spoiling in chat. It is a neat stream, Justin. It's fun. It's uh, well attended. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. This is uh, super fun. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel, Star Wars Legion is new to the channel, too. We yeah, mostly focus on Wasteland Warfare, Fallout 2D20. We're branching out. We got some uh, Elder Scrolls Call to Arms stuff on there as well. And uh, yeah, we're bringing Legion to the channel this weekend. Justin's coming into town. We're gonna do a little bat rep beat down. It'll be super fun. This is Justin's first look at the army that I'm painting for him, actually. Here's your 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 Han your Han somewhat gang. What did we decide uh, on on not Han Solo's name? Remind me. I can't remember the name of the mandolin player. His name escapes me. Cool. Preston, Preston give opportunity for experience and loot that he does. All right, so we're making progress on Kit Bash Han. He's got some sideburns though. This fucking undercut. I was definitely not going to go, you know, full green stuff and fix his hair. Speaking of fix, let me see. I'm gonna how's it focus on the old uh, on the old jumbotron here. I'm gonna just do a quick little adjustment here, gang. I'm a stupid thing and I can't see. Oh, focus. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's the wrong way. Huh. She's a fickle mistress, this new cam. There we go, it's all right. Anywho. Might have been better before. Tell me if it was better before, and I'll try to undo what I just did. I think it was better before. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I had it. There we go. 31, that's the sweet spot. That'll do. Good enough. Okay. Oh, I just realized now I missed a spot of his missed his other ear.
y'all ever do that when you're painting something it's like staring you right in the face you're like why does this look weird why does this why does this part look weird what's happening and you're like oh i didn't paint an entire half of this guy's face yeah that's why it's giving me weird vibes which the man with half a face is another harrison ford movie is it man with half a face is that harrison ford no is that fucking what's his name Mel Gibson. No. Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. Harrison Ford. I'm saying it now. Man without a face. That's what it's called. This has been 90s Movie Trivia. With your host, me. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? I'm, we got We got some pretty, like, we got... If I went to a game with this right now and did like no more work, was just like, here we go, boom. I would be happy with this. But this is gonna be the flagship model of, or one of the flagship models of this army. So we're gonna do a little bit more work. Abvi. So the face, the window of the face. No, soul. We do some highlighting, Cajun flesh. We'll call it, uh, Karelian flesh for today. Oh. Shake, 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 shake. One thing I will never buy is a paint shaker. It just seems useless. As much as I hate shaking paints, and I live upstairs. So the guy below me, whenever I'm shaking my paints. Yeah. Take a wild guess what he thinks I'm probably doing. Probably thinks I do it a lot. It's like every five minutes, my computer desk just like shakes. Vanta black everything. Oh, okay. So I don't have Vanta black, but let me introduce you guys. We're talking about primers and things. Let me show you the craziest fucking thing I have. Musso Black. This shit is nuts. Got it as a Christmas gift. And it is the goddamn blackest shit. I, um, we'll play around. We'll play around with it uh, in a video one day. But, um, it's like a black hole. Like you paint something black that has crazy details and edges and lines. And like, unless you're this far away from it, you can't see a damn thing. It's unreal. All right, let's bring some highlights into old Han here, shall we? I've probably got too much on my brush here. I'm trying to go nice and slow and build it up. I gotta say, I'm very happy I was out today, I've been sick, so I, I, I took today off and I went to the physiotherapist. And um, those two things aren't connected, but those are just the things that happened to me today. Um, and on my way home, um, I stopped in at the model shop on an impulse because my brushes are fucking garbage right now. I spent a little bit more money on brushes than I normally do. I bought some Army Painter ones, which I've enjoyed in the past. I'm enjoying right now. I've been using more sort of cheapy store ones, just from just an art store a couple blocks away that I pop into. And they're great and they're nice. I'm trying to take better care of them, but I just like these Army Painter ones. Maybe it's the handle, that triangle handle which I do enjoy but anyway I'm just very excited to be sharing new brushes with, with you folks today because new brush day is a day I enjoy and now I get to spend it with my friends so we do a little highlight to some strategic areas Eyebrows and things and noses and stuff. And then, I think I'm gonna do a, a wash, probably. 
with some um, maybe some Gilliman, maybe some Ari Painter flesh wash. We'll see how I feel when this dries. But I might not wash it at all, depending. Because again, this sort of cartoony heroic scale is kind of good. He does gotta look like fucking. I know. I, I know this stupid camera, but he, he kind of does. The face kind of does look like Harrison Ford. I mean, if you're gonna create a fictional Star Wars character, use a good like, use a good skeleton. Johnny, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Sorry, game and rambling on here, not looking at the chat. We got some Neutron Boys in the house. Good to see you, Mr. Bottle Cap. A little too much there. Boop. The old finger dab. Listen, Holmes. We ain't no sophisticated. Uh, we ain't no sophisticated operation. If I got too much paint on something. I can take my thumb and I'm gonna go bleak, and I'm gonna fucking smoosh it off. Well, that ain't not bad. I'm gonna smooth a line or two here on his forehead. Dude, faces. I know. It's. I don't know why I came so fucking hot out the gate with this stream. Let's do free hands. Let's do kit bashing. Let's do fucking faces. Um, but you know, like I, like I said earlier in the stream, uh, if you're just joining, you know, some of the things that I've been disliking the most um, in the hobby just throughout my, you know, hobbying journey have slowly, um, are slowly becoming some things I'm enjoying doing. Um, basing. Basing is one of them. I'm really liking having doing basing now. Um, just trying to, you know, tell a story with it. Have, have a lot of fun. Um, and it's just a different muscle to flex in the hobby space. Um, and, and skin tones is something, I, again, I'm not saying that I'm good at it. Um, but I'm saying that I'm enjoying trying. And you know what, gang? That's what it's all about, right? Ooh, I like this like beat we got going on here right now as you come into Ryan's fucking story hour. It's all about trying stuff. So if Tremors got you down, Dev, I feel you, buddy. I really, I really do. A lot of times I'm like one of these too, right? But I'm feeling pretty good today. Yeah. Physiotherapist worked me over good. I'm potentially too docile. If that's a problem. See, Yuri gets it. I love you. I know. I love in uh, Blue Harvest. Yeah, uh, Star Wars. Parody, Family Guy. I love you. Fuck off. It's like, I mean, she does come in fucking strong, right? Like, out the gate. Like, Buddy's like, he's about to get locked up. It's like, man. In front of my... In front of my Wookiee, really? There we go. Got a little more contour to his face here again. I know it's a little hard to tell here, gang, but uh, I do like this 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 little webcam. It's all right. It's all right. It's a Logitech stream cam. It's okay. I I was playing around with my I had a DSLR situation all hooked up, and you know what? This was easier, nicer, and uh, honestly looks about the same. That's not true. All right, well, on to next year. Let's uh, let's maybe do some highlights on his jacket. I was gonna do the backpack, maybe a different color, but seeing how I uh, I was gonna use the color of his uh, gloves, and I fucking dislike that. Maybe I'll use the brown that he used for his hair. That might be a weird sort of contrast. Or I could just go black, like the rest of their backpacks. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's go with black. All right, so next next Star Wars character question, no context at all. It's not a would you rather, it's just putting a statement out in the world. Princess Leia or Jin Erso? This is a test. And there may or may not be wrong answers, depending on I don't know. Depending on nothing, because I'm just pulling this out of nowhere. 
Han Solo won the Luke versus Han battle, which no brainer. Is there anything I don't like to paint? Um, great, good question. Anything I don't like to paint? <laughs> well, I don't know that I like painting faces, but I'm liking it more. Um, anything I d really don't like? Um, oh, yeah, fuck. Um, edge highlighting space marines. Get the fuck out of here. Um, I still do it. Again, one of those things that I dislike, but I'm practicing, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I just, oh. There's got to be a better way. And I guess there is. There are many other ways. Um, I don't know if I've actually fully been. Gus the Defender. Good to see you, pal. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how good I am at them. Um, I could pull out a couple of the Dark Angels I'm working on right now and show you. But um, I guess I'm getting better. But um, next next time, and unfortunately I started this army project before having the brainwave of actually doing it as an army. I just bought, I was in a hobby slump and I wanted to try something different. So I picked up a pack of Intercessors. Um, it was great. But that paint style that I ended up doing, um, I got more intercessors and I, I got a captain. And so all of a sudden I've got an army. And so I'm painting them in that specific style, um, which is your traditional, you know, heavy metal, um, edge highlight the fuck out of your space Marines style. Um, so I'm kind of boxed into that right now with that army in particular, but my next guys, I'm going to try something different. Hey guys, Dax has this one. Hey Empire, get ready to suck some Dak. Fuck, those parodies are so good. Uh, what else we got? Yeah. B-E-G, edge highlighting, yeah man. K2SO is pretty, is pretty rad. I love me some K2. Yeah, I mean, anything voiced by, uh, what's his name, Alan Tudyk? I'm okay with. There we go. Yeah, I think black was the right color for this. Even, even if just so that it's what matches the rest of the troopers. Tactically, it's tactical. It's not tactical. Fucking storming a jungle planet with a black backpack and a brown shirt. A little bit of a giveaway, but whatever. They, they also have fucking laser swords, so we're not really grounded in reality here, gang. You gotta say I'm enjoying this little experiment. Thanks for coming out, guys. Almost had a almost had a full hour. This is super fun. We got some more folks in here too. Yeah, Alan Tudyk. Big Alan Tudyk fan. Anyone seen, uh, what is it? Not Alien Mine. That's a very different movie. Um, Resident Alien. Starring our Alan Tudyk. It's quite wonderful. It's dark and I enjoy it. Come into my first interesting mismatch kit bash situation here because the <laughs> the backpack strap on the back goes up to like where part of the old arm is and the old arm's not there so then the strap just kind of does it oh no there it is yeah part of it disappears so whatever no one will know and i just fucked up the collar of the coat that's okay yeah i'm using too thick a brush for this right now Because I can bash this in a really weird way. 45 humans in here right now. This is lovely. Hello, all you humans. Thanks for stopping in. 
Chicken in Moana is also voiced. Chicken, Chicken in Moana is also voiced by Alan Tudyk, which is amazing because his only lines in Moana are, <laughs> and it's great. And like, but he probably got paid for that. Like, that's Disney, man. I am curious for when, because um, I'm hoping, because I think it'd be cool. And I know the whole point of the show is we're not doing fan service, but Andor, I really want to see uh, K2 show up in that show. I love it. it. Andor is so good. If anyone has Rebels, if anybody hasn't seen Andor, please watch it. It's, it's a slow burn. I'll give you that. It took me a while to get into it. But when I did, I didn't stop watching it. Um, it's the best Star Wars show. Next to Mando, because Mando is cool. But anyway, so the whole thing that Andor you know, says they're doing is, we're not doing fan service, yada yada. Whatever, sure, fine. I think that's a stupid thing to say out loud, because it's like, hey, you know this franchise you guys love? Well, fuck you. We're purposely doing weird shit with it. Well, that's not what they're doing, so that was a weird statement. But I want to see K2. And I think my theory is that weird little droid he's got is gonna get reprogrammed into K2. And I would love to see it. It was such a good show. The acting is just unreal. Like, I haven't felt something in a Star Wars show in a minute. In a Star Wars anything in a minute. Because, and all, I've, there's been some Mando moments, I'll give you that. Like, controversial opinion, like when Ray who? Ray Skywalker. I was like, yup. There's them goose pimples. But I like, I like Ray's character. I don't even care. Maybe I just like Daisy Ridley as an actor. She is phenomenal. All right, just gonna clean up this coat here where I done goofed on his collar. So the base coat I've used for, maybe I should talk about painting on this painting stream, huh? For uh, my Rebel Troopers, uh, this is British Uniform, AKA Interactive. It is one of my favorite browns. It mixes super well. A little bit of black, it gets real dark. A little bit of white, looks not real nice, still keeps some pigment. And it's got that, it's got kind of like a, a, a military look. It's got a leather look without being too, too like red brown. And overall the AK Interactive, which is the, um, the figures line Love this. This is the brown leather. This is darker. You can see sort of the difference here, right? The uniform versus the brown. I mean, it's subtle, but it's there, right? So get so got something more like that for the base, for a little more contrast with the dirt. And um, that that brown leather is probably my favorite leather color that I've encountered in recent memory. The AK Interactive one, and I can't find it at my local hobby shop. And I'm rather nonplussed about that but i found it in a pack of paints from ak but i'm gonna i have all the other ones that come in the pack and the only one i'm out of is the brown leather because i use it so much so i'm gonna wait until everything else runs out so that's my short story on why i really like this brown it's not too red but you can you can get it there you can get it to like that leathery sort of look I could use a wash on the coat. You are correct, Nikki. We're gonna give we're gonna give all these boys a um, an a graxing on their on their leathers. You can see so for the rest of the rebels. I'll show you sorry how he tunes in with the rest of the squad. Sort of three three main colors. Got that brown as sort of the the baseline. Gray pants. 
uh, and then they've all got sort of like that that the color I used on Han's fucking gloves that I don't like for his hands. Um, I sort of their their base layers, shirts, sort of different takes, different tones. This guy, this guy's my favorite, the old guy. I'm calling him Rex because he looks like Sergeant Rex. And there's that fan theory that he, the old trooper on Endor is Rex. So that's what I'm going with. Um, so they, they, it's been, but the brown, you're right. It needs a little bit of like a something, something. So plan is to go in with Agrax and test it on one of the, uh, the other troopers here. Um, and then do some highlights. But I'm also, I don't think I'm going to do it on Han, but on the other, on the commander of the rebel unit, I did kind of like a camo cloak quasi sort of attempt sort of thing. I was tempted to do it on, on not Han, but I think that's going to pin him into like Endor. Whereas if I just keep him like brown jacket, uh, I can throw him on fucking Tatooine. Who knows, right? Maybe it's a duster then. So I, I don't think I'm going to do the camo thing. I'll just, I'll just do it on my squad leaders um, for my Endor troops. And then uh, Han, he'll get, uh, yeah, a little washing on him. I think next here though, I'm going to give us that uh, highlight, that blood stripe. Going back into the AK well here. Just getting into AK and Pro Acryl. Talk to me about Pro Acryl, Frank, uh, because it's my next. It's my next get. Um, because it loves me a bandwagon, and they look really good. Specifically, that white. Um, that Pro Acryl white looks good and there are so many whites that aren't um that i i want to give that a shot because i've got fuck what do i have here i've got three four di four different whites technically including airbrush paints um and they're all trash except for the mummy ropes mummy ropes is okay um but i've had bad batches of this before um and it's really white but like, come on, gang. Let's look at this. Let's just do. Let's just do it. Look at how fucking chunky this is. I bought this. No, I'm shitting you. Maybe, maybe a month, two months ago. Here we go. I'm doing this paint shaker thing here. My neighbors don't know what I'm up to. But like, it's chunky. Like it's got it's got literal chunks in it, my dudes. And dude, that's uh, it's blown out because of the exposure, but like there's physical chunks of garbage in here and fucking white scar, fucking white scar. Anyway, um, so pro acryl to get back. The white is thumbs up. Don't dry brush with it though. Pro tip for the pro acryl. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to give them a, a try. I've been watching, um, I've been watching uh, Tanya, the war mistress, um, her, her hobby, her painting hangout streams. And um, she's been using them, and they look great. Well, she uses a lot of stuff, but she's been using she's been using those for a bit here, and they look rad. And I was um, watching um, Coopertown Hobbies as well. Um, that whole huge like epic battle report that they're doing with um, Mini Wargamer Dave. Uh, he's doing Brent is doing with Mini Wargamer Dave. Um, and all the all the models that he painted up for that game using those pro acryls So cool They have a very distinct like he used some very vibrant colors, right? He's using this um, Saurian star host lizard army, right? So they're all like cool colors blues and purples and oranges and stuff Shake it not stirred Bought it two three months ago, but when was it made good question Nexus? Good question. I gotta say, during pandemic times, um, I ran into, like, when like the world started opening up again. Go to the hobby shop, like, specifically Citadel Paints. Ran into so many that were like, old and nasty. I guess they just like stopped shipping or something? I don't know. I'm talking up my ass, but. We talking Goober Town Brent. I am talking Goober Town Brent. Ryan, he's got a, they've got him and Mini Wargamer Dave are doing i'm sure well if you know if you know brent you pr pr probably know what he's up to but yeah the fucking 
Unreal, massive battle report. One page rules, it looks so cool. Like professionally filmed with like a $100,000 camera rig. Fuck, it's gonna be so cool. I, I'm surprised it's not out yet, to be honest. Painting this, can't see it from the tabletop, fucking blood stripe on his right leg. It kind of looks like trash, but you can't see it. So <laughs> I, I, I can't even I can't even find an angle to show it to you on camera. So you can kind of see it in there now. Anyway, not important. The best white, in your opinion, is Model Master Flat White Enamel. Ooh. Okay. Okay, enamel. Never really, never messed with a lot of enamels. Some some washes and stuff. We got, um, wow, this stream's turning into a fucking AK Interactive uh, commercial. Um, yeah, I've used some of their washes in the past and they're super great. Um, street and grime and stuff, so amazing. But, um, yeah, never given that a go. I haven't messed around with too many enamels. Well, we're in a good shape here, gang. I think, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, maybe let's uh, maybe let's wash the coat, give him a minute to sit, and um, yeah, see what see what happens. I, I think I'm gonna wash the coat and it's the face here, and um, leave old Han for a minute or two, let him dry, and then we'll uh, we'll switch gears a little bit. You know what? I was gonna go Agrax on the coat. But instead, instead I'm going to go, I'm going to keep things Army Painter here for a bit and go uh, mild brown on the coat and flesh wash on the face. The flesh wash tends to be a little dark, but I went a little hard on the highlights. So if I'm, gi if I'm ginger with it, we should be okay. And then the mid brown, I like because it's, it's, it has more of like a red brown to it than, than Agrax does. Agrax is, you know, it's almost black, right? Like it's that like, is it more of an ochre thing? I don't know. I just say words sometimes and think that they're the right thing I'm supposed to be describing. Let's start with like a recess wash, I think. Sort of not go too hard in the paint on it right off the top. So I can kind of pull it back if I have to, or if I, if I need to. Learned painting in the early 70s, Nikki. Why, you are OG, my friend. This brush is too thick. So is that one. This one is perfect. So I'm gonna do like the folds here first a little bit, just to bring in a little contrast. The long, long ago in the before time. Ochre is red, if you're not mistaken. See? Thank you for correcting me. I'm just saying dumb shit. Whatever just like the real brown pigment is. Agrax, it got it, man. I find sometimes it's like, I know it's earth shade, right? It's supposed to be like dirt, dirty. I find sometimes it's just too much. Sometimes it's just too much. Well, I gotta say, I'm having a blast here on the stream here, gang. Thanks all for, for tuning in. 53 folks, that's amazing. This is the most I think we've ever had on, on any stream. Hmm. Justin, you were right. I don't say it often, but I'll say it right now. This is a good idea. That's already got a little more punch to it in the coat. Maybe we'll start with recesses and uh, see if we can there. I mean, I am tempted always just to just boom, slap it on. Which, like, I mean, there's a time and place. We're just gonna try to build volume more than 
anything. Or build convex, build conflume, the opposite of volume with shades. I don't know. You know what I'm saying. Building shadows. White out. What is that? How old are you? I'm 12 and what is this? Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited for our Endor battle here coming up. Well, I'm curious. I think, I think it's going to be a good plan to like keep trying to like recreate some like, you know, Star Wars, you know, moments, you know? And yes, I am 100% co-opting and lifting that idea from playing on tabletop. But it's a good idea and credit where credit's due. Those fucking guys know what they're doing. So where should we go next, gang? Endor's gonna be fun. And I don't know, I like, I, we might do Crisis Protocols on deck too. Um, I don't know when the order is. I don't wanna like flood the channel with like new shit too much just because, you know, the last thing I want anyone to think with like this whole thing we're doing is just like bandwagon jumping or whatever, right? Um, which like I see sometimes with channels, it's like, there's a hot, there's a new hotness and you gotta get on it. Like when the fucking cyberpunk anime came out. It's all cyberpunk all the time for like a week in the TTRPG space. But anyway, uh, I'm fully, fully digressing now. Um, I'm just gonna wash these gloves and see if I like them better. I do. I wanted to do, I didn't want you guys to see it in case I fucked it up, but I like it better. So we're gonna go with it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't wanna flood the channel with new stuff, but I do wanna do new stuff, right? So it's like, Are Ewoks going to be in this battle? No, unfortunately, Escorp. I I had, I was spinning up machinations of getting some printed Ewoks and running them as Wookiee warriors, but um, my 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 eyes were too big for my britches. I think at that at that stage of the game, and I even I even was even going to pick up some Wookies and paint them up and proxy them for Ewoks, yada yada, but. I, I, I didn't want to go too crazy right off the bat because it is a new thing we're doing on Legion. And, you know, the, 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 folks, the folks asked for it, which is good. We put out, uh, you know, we put out the survey on the Patreon and, and it came up resounding success was, was Legion was what everyone wanted to see at least first. So we're going to, we're going to do that. But um, yeah, definitely want, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying trying new stuff. Like even, even 2D20, right, is technically new. Um for the channel in in so much as you know it's not the, the first thing we started doing um so it followed is you know it's the bread and butter it's what we do but that being said there's so much cool stuff out there and you know i don't want to pigeonhole so it's really cool that you guys are, are actually streaming, watching this right now, even. Um, I, I know we, I, I imagine we've got some folks from some some of the non-initiated to the channel and welcome uh, if, if you are such a member um, of the stream here today. But um, we got some progress on Han here. The little, little recess shading did, did a good little number there. <clears throat> I'm gonna wash his face. Wash your face. Uh, and then, I'm gonna set him aside for a bit. Uh, and then we're gonna shift gears. I don't know what we're gonna do. I've got some other Star Wars stuff we could do. Uh, I could shift gears entirely. Uh, got some Fallout stuff we could work on. Um, probably gonna go for probably just until eight. So uh, we got some time. But uh, yeah, could do, what do we got? Oh gosh, I got so many things. I've got, oh my God. Okay, well, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's put a wash on Han's face. Wash your face. Kitty in the background. Yes, indeed. There's Quark. She's chilling. What's up? What's up, girl? She's chilling. This is relaxing. She's been all day. She's been fucking amped. I'm 
just gonna go a whole full wash on this. I might do the hair too, just to kind of tie it in and give some definition to his wavy locks. Pull some of the wash out of his. There we go. Hey, you know, I'm gonna do the hair too. You know what? I like this face. It's not something I say all that often. I'm okay with it, you know? Actually, that, that I say a lot because that's about as far as I ever get on anything. Yeah, I'm good with that when it comes to painting. I envy those who can go past the how's it? 85, 75, whatever it is, point. Past the point where I stop caring. Yeah, but everybody's got that line, right? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this kit bash here right now. That's, that's, that's turning out better. So I get some definition in the eyes a little bit. I'll probably, probably what I'll do is I'll wait for that wash to dry. Give a little, give a little speck. And there was some white and then give the white a wash to kind of blend it in the old uh, eye wash trick but for right now i know it's kind of hard to tell but i'm gonna i'm gonna let him dry for a minute and then the only other thing i might do is come back maybe do some, i don't want to edge highlight him i think that's just silly i might just do a quick dry brush with that lighter khaki color Maybe just like on the bottom of the trench coat to give kind of like a dusty sort of thing. I am tempted now to do that camo pattern that I did on the first guy. But I think it's gonna make him look different enough, you know? And like, even if I don't, if I'm not using him as, you know, Han in a game, I can use him as just like a, a trooper commander or what I'll probably end up doing with him is like a special forces, like the spotter on the special forces unit. Because those uh, Strike Force Commandos are pretty awesome. So we're going to leave on for now, actually. There you go, buddy. You're pretty good. So, what should, what should we tackle next? Should we, should we stay in a galaxy far, far away? And work on maybe, say, oh, I don't know. Mo. No. Uh, we could work on... Maybe we'll work on Chewie a little bit. Do some work on Chewie's Bowcaster and or Eyeballs. Uh, or we got we can start we could start in on Leia. We we'll, we'll, won't get her done, but she's starting from Jump Street, so we could get her going. Or that's NCR Ranger slash Courier. What? Where? There's a courier behind me. God damn. Uh, I don't I don't have any any NCR couriers to paint. I've got got some Fallout stuff. I've got a Mr. Handy here on the desk. I've got a Blood Bug. What else we got? Uh, Super Mutant, Suicider. I don't know, what's everybody feeling? What's everybody feeling? I'm thinking maybe we'll just stick with Star Wars. I'm thinking that might be the way to go. Or actually, get yeah, you know what? I'll put it up, I'll put it up into the vote. Do we want to start Jump Street on Leia? Or uh, work on Slag from Fallout with Sun Warfare? I will let, I will let the chat tell me what they want to do while I clean these brushes and catch up on the chat Wookiees equals Ewoks in trench coats <laughs> yes yeah three three Ewoks standing on each other's shoulders clean your brushes which I'm also trying to get better at doing and because these are all well not all because a few of these are brand new I'm going to clean them, clean them when I'm done this session. The choice is yours. Galaxy far, far away or close to home. I'm, I got more done on slag here, but I mean, I did say it was a Star Wars Legion painting party. Mm. 
Yeah, and, I, and slag is still, see, slag is the last part of a very long puzzle that I'm putting together here, you guys. And it's a battle report series that, the first one, the first one's done, or it's very close to done, as far as the, the actual pre-production. But slag is the linchpin holding the next two episodes in the series from, from moving on. We're gonna go with Leia. We're gonna go with Leia because she's the most immediate pressing concern um, because I need her for the game on Saturday. Leia and hydration. Yes, man. Yes. Thank you. Reminder. Hydration break. Because my other beverage is a hydrating beverage, but it has other properties as well. It tastes good mixed with Gatorade. What smells like blue? What does smell like blue? Okay, Leia. Here we go. So, I think we could go got box art, which is probably what I'm gonna strive towards-ish. You know, the indoor look. The weird blue jumpsuit thing she wears. Yeah, that's the way to go. Can't remember what color the pants are of that outfit. What we'll do with that in a minute. Actually, maybe we should figure that out. What color are Leia's pants? Hey Siri, what color are Leia's pants? Princess Leia Endor. Ha! Ah, Siri is actually looking for what color her pants are. Oh shush. They are blue. They are blue with a yellow stripe. There you go. Okay. That answered that question very fast. So I think for the blues, I'm gonna work my way up to this as a highlight. Valle Vallejo, Vallejo. Light green blue. I'm very much enjoying this color. You can't really see it because a stupid camera turns on its stupid light to blow it out. But it's like a really, it's like a pastel-y blue green. I think that's what we'll work our way up to on the pantaloons. But for a base coat, I guess probably something cool, neutral. Yeah, you know, I'm going to start with. That's too dark. What is this? Yeah, you know, I'm just going to use uniform gray. Yeah, the same color ish that I have all the Rebel Trooper pants, the pants. Get those, uh, get that sort of like a cool base color here. And then um, maybe we'll do it a little bit darker. <clears throat> Mix it with something to get a little bit darker on the pants and lighter on the jacket. To have the same sort of color, but slightly different. Let's get it. What's everybody else working on? I know we had some fantasy nights, some Skyrim stuff. Everybody else doing some painting out there? We should get chat here. Here we go. No, you really cannot hydrate enough. Which I need to do more of. In general these days. I say, gang, I've been cutting out caffeine and I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired, but I do feel more, not more energy, but I feel like I've got more, I don't know, less fucking, the energy is more directed. 
But part of that is now I'm, I'm not drinking enough water too. So hydrate or die. It's just math. Or science more accurately. She's got a convenient little, well it's not a mold line, but she's got the, the yellow of the pants. The yellow stripe of the pants is modeled onto the model. Which is slick. Done with MCP, ooh, starter. Kingpin and Venom, nice. I, I want Venom so bad. He's he's the last part of my spider, um, what's this, what's the fucking spider faction? Spider-Man faction? Web Warriors. I've got, I've got, technically I've got a Web Warrior faction. I've got Gwen, Miles, and Petey. I got to have that venom, yo! Eddie Brock. I haven't seen what his stat card is all about though, but I just know I need him because I'm a Spider-Man junkie. Is Venom is Venom any good, Escorp? Should I get him? I mean I will, eventually. But is he a must-have? If you're playing Spider uh, Web Warriors, because I'm eyeing up uh, possibly Daredevil and or Moon Knight as my next MCP gets, because they're Web Warriors too, I believe, as per one of the more recent updates. Two tax, five dice normal, and seven dice with energy cost. Okay, a five dice builder though. That's I'm okay with that. Yeah, I know Daredevil, because he's, he's got, his stack card looks pretty cool. Leia's got some junk in that trunk, yo. Da, 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 da. Negates dice manipulation. Symbiote coming in strong. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds up my, up my alley, actually. I might have to check him out. Moon Knight's cool. I want to, I want to, I want to pick up, I'm going to pick up Moon Knight at some point, because it's a huge Moon Knight junkie as a kid. I discovered, oh, this is my favorite comic book store find ever. Um, was that, was that Phoenix Comics? Justin, you'll remember, you'll remember Phoenix Comics. Or was it Red Skull? It was Red Skull Comics, my mistake in Calgary. And um, it was a four pack. I, I didn't know who Moon Knight was. I was like, maybe like, I don't know, 14, 13, something like that. And um, saw this four pack on the cover was this fucking white, crazy, fucking hooded death looking dude. And the and the, the bad guy was, I think it was like Mark Spector's brother who goes fucking crazy and becomes like a serial killer. And like, it was so dark and the Punisher was in it. And it was like this four series arc i didn't know what the fuck i was reading because like yeah it was it was like an 80s run of of moon knight that i discovered in like i don't know 2004 and i was like what the fuck so i'm like i don't really like red war zone and shit like punisher war zone was like yeah it was pretty dark but like this was a different vibe it was immediately like i need to know everything about this character that i've never heard of in my entire life and i found out it's just batman in Egypt or whatever. I mean, he's different than that, but also is exactly that, so. Anyway, that's my rambling about Mark Spector. Mark Spector became Mark Spector, correct. Those are some pants. This isn't going to be, I mean, I, I honestly could probably just leave it as this gray because it's got kind of like a cool sort of blue to it as well. But I'm, I, again, I want, I want the heroes of this army to look different than the, I was about to say cannon fodder, but rank and file, but I guess it's all the same, isn't it? Living in that empire life. Is looking all right 
go. Yeah, I'll definitely be rocking the new episode of Mando tonight. Because it's just too good. And yes, we are still on no spoilers, but goddamn. Last week's episode. So many questions. The Scarif Troopers are probably the coolest troopers. Shore Troopers are rad. And they're they're cool in Legion too. Uh they, they got they got some neat some neat functions. I'm really liking the store, uh, the snow troopers, excuse me, for a, from a mechanics point of view with Legion, but the fucking shore troopers, yeah, they've got a cool look. Like it's, it, cause they, they look like scout troopers, right? Like they've got that scout trooper look cause the helmets it, and like, which, which makes them unique and different enough. Cause I really, I remember like seeing Return of the Jedi for the first time after like back to backing the first two. I was like age five and seeing scout troopers. I was like, what the fuck are those? And thus began the world's infatuation with different looking stormtroopers. All right, let's do, let's do her underneath sort of shirt first. So you see, he's got sort of like this under jacket here. It's kind of like a, a, a sandy color. And then the, the overcoat is that blue. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start with that British uniform just to have a bit of a base tone throughout the entire army. Uh, and then I'll probably just glaze or like block in probably more accurately. Um, that ochre. Keke, that ochre, ochre keke color. For now, we're just going to go with the uniform brown. Like I said, this has been a lot of fun. <laughs> I've had like 15 people max during the stream, 60 views. This is great. It's not about the numbers, but it's just nice to know that, you know, when you, when you try something different or new, that people are going to, people are going to hang in. Oops. There we go. Sorry, gang. So thanks so much, guys. Death Troopers, they hit at a better rate. Okay. Yeah, they look cool. They look cool. They got cool stats. I'm still I'm still working my way through each army and like which the, the meta, if you will. So sort of which unit does who's who in the zoo for each, you know. And um yeah, Death Troopers look cool. Krennic looks cool. Um as a commander. He's got some cool, he's got some cool built-in buffs on his card and, and um, he, he buffs well, it seems. Or can, can buff others well, I guess is what I'm trying to say. If I understand his mechanics, which I might not. But yeah, the Death Troopers look rad and he gets to take a unit of them with him, I believe. Awesome, Krennic. Order the garrison. It's a good character. Rogue One. Rogue One blew my skirt up. It blew my everything up. It was a good fucking movie. And I gotta be honest, when I heard that they were doing an Andor show, I was like, what? Why? This is dumb. I have changed every note of my tune on that. Cat, what are you doing? Cat's going crazy down here. I am bummed oh, 
Best since Disney took over. I agree. I score P. I am bummed that uh, Rogue Squadron is dead in the water because that premise, just that idea, like just focusing, focusing on some fucking starfighter shit in Star Wars, got me excited. kind of like you know jedi's all new hype right and like last week's episode of mando had the coolest starfighter-y moments i've seen in star wars in a long time and it made me very happy and i would just love to see that um sort of side of the universe explored because like, it gets so much hype in like the first couple movies right like it's the best starfighter pilot in the galaxy It would just be cool to see. But as far as I know, that project is just fucking dead. Which is too bad. Apparently Andor is the best thing to happen to, to Star Wars or still review say. They, it is, Justin. I keep telling you, buddy. You gotta see it. Give you my Disney Plus login, Holmes. Get on it. It's fucking your speed, too, my dude. All secret agent -y. Actually, maybe you won't like it. Because he's very much like a ends justify the means character. Nah, you'll like it. You should watch it. Fun fact, I've read somewhere that Tatooine was a water world. But it's all evaporated due to some conflict. That is correct. In the lore once far, far beyond. Tatooine was a water world. Or a... No, I don't know if it was a water, 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 water world, but it was a, you know, oceanic. It had more water than it fucking does now. Actually, I think they mentioned that. They talk about that a little bit in um, Book of Boba Fett, too, actually. Just, like, for, like, a hot second. Which, speaking of new characters and how cool they are in the new hotness... Fucking, what's his name? Uh, Timothy Oliphant. Oh, why is the character escaping me now? Van? Is that his name? No, that's wrong. Get at me in the comments, you know. That guy, fucking cool. I'm a big Timothy Oliphant fan. That guy pisses ice, he's so cool. Cobb, Cobb Van. There we go. Had to come to me for a second. Cobb Van. Fucking cool. Okay, got her sleeves done there. We're getting somewhere. Let's do her under collary bits. I'm doing this normally. I probably like. I'm th I'm thinking about my painting process a little bit more because I'm doing it, you know, <laughs> for an audience. Normally, I would probably have just like blocked in the entirety of like her 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 chesticles, like her whole like upper upper shirt situation, like. Just her torso, basically. Um, and then gone in with the highlights? Uh, or then gone in and done this part that I'm doing now? Cat, you're going crazy. Um, but, I want to try a little bit different. So I do want to have that gray tone underneath um, this specific part of her shirt. But I do think that blue is going to be cool. I picked it up to use on my uh, forged raiders for Wasteland Warfare. Because I've been looking for a blue that could kind of do a couple things. That could work as like a, a denim, sort of like weathering. Um, but like... I haven't, I still haven't found like the blue, and I probably never will because it doesn't exist. Like the blue or the green. The intense blue, I like. But, as the name suggests, 
It is intense. Sand trout have all the water. The Alaskan salmon. Did I do? Uh, did you try to do xenothal highlight for priming? Uh, not on these. Uh, I did a. I did a um, like an undercoat dry brush uh, on Han, uh, just because I wanted to try something a little bit different with his face, um, which I did. And actually, you know, I actually enjoy. I think I'll, I'll try it again uh, on a different mini down the line, because um, because I do like. I think I gotta find this sweet spot here. Because um, I do like how it came together. It, it feels like it has a, a pretty natural sort of like, um, trying try to get that like blood tone, blood flow sort of feel to it, right? Different parts of the face have different color because of different blood vessels and stuff. Um, so I actually did like that, but for no, for, for Leia, she's just all black. Um, and a, a little bit different. I originally, when I primed, ooh, pr Prussian blue by Vallejo is best for jeans. Thank you, Nikki. Man, you're coming through clutch here today. Um, yeah, so just just black uh, for for Leia, Leia Han and Chewie were all in black. Um, same with we got this comms trooper. There's only one left to go actually, uh, and then everyone just got paint on them, and it's pretty much done. Um, next to Leia, um, but um, but the rest of my troopers I had done in uh, wolf gray. I love this guy. The blue guy is my favorite. The alien ones are my favorite ones. I need to get more. I need to get the trooper upgrade pack. I think because that's the one that has. I think that has all the aliens in it. I have done Xenothal in the past. I'm, I'm definitely not. You know, not not against it at all. I think it, I think it has its time and place. Um, some minis that I've done it on. You know, it's worked when I've really sort of focused in on, okay, follow the Xenophil, do it, you know, paint where there's, paint where there's light paint and don't paint where there's dark paint. Um, you know, it, that's a school of thought of doing it, obviously. It's not the only way. But, um, and I've had success doing it that way. You know, I've had success just doing it and then just painting, you know, not thinking too much about the Xenophil and just going for broke and just painting a model. Um, and I don't, I don't know that I have a preference. I think, I think it varies from model to model, to be honest. I think it depends on what you're doing. Like for this, for this, yeah, she, you know, she probably could have benefited from it um, to bring some, some details. And we'll, and we'll see when, the, you know, how, when we see how her face turns out compared to Hans, because, you know, I, I did it a little bit differently. But, um, but for something like, something like this, like the Deathclaw Matriarch, who is now done, by the way. I just need to varnish um, and take some good photos of. Um, something like this, like, yeah, I zenithal the fuck out of this one. Uh, and then and then when I used the airbrush and then went in with the brush brush was, you know, very, very particular um, about that zenithal. And I think, it, I think it came through really, really well. Um, I, I find it works best on bigger models so far, but again, um, these little guys, Again, it could have definitely benefited from it, but man, the Star Wars Legion project has been, uh, I got this, fuck. Oh my God, this is a, it's a birthday present to me. Slash from the channel, slash to the channel. Um, like a, two years ago. And it's slowly, I, I painted up, you know, the stormtroopers right away, or a couple of them. And, um, yeah, it's just been like, they've all been painted different ways, different priming, different primers. So, yeah, it's just, just getting them done or getting, getting all the Legion models that I currently own. Actually, that's not true because there's, uh, I've got a couple droids from like the Imperial expansion that, I could build for this battle. Um, getting all the models that I'll use painted or some painted on will be a very big win for me. On the fence about buying an airbrush, really want to, but my gut says my wife will have a contradicting opinion. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, they are cool. I'm very much still on the first few steps of my airbrush journey. Um, and it is a journey. 
I think, because yeah, like anything, it's a tool. Um, you're a tool, you're a tell. And um, it has its place, right? Like, I wish I had, once upon a time, um, like if I had airbrushed, because I've got that brown as sort of like the main color throughout this army, um, you know, had I just airbrushed all of them brown with that brown and then gone and done, you know, the details, I think, well, I know it would probably look more cohesive than they do um, now just because it's been, you know, over a couple of years and a couple of different primings and yada yada of how these models have come together. But, um, yeah, the airbrush is cool. It's, it's got its time. It's got its place. Big stuff, right? Like the matriarch that was, I mean, could have done it with a brush, right? It would, it would look different. Um, but like being able to get like the gradient or attempt a gradient more accurately, uh, on, on her hide, um, would have been so much more difficult wet blending but um yeah they're, they're noisy though like i gotta say at least mine is um that's the one thing that i wish i did now i'm actually on my second compressor this first one i bought was like this real chibi chibi unit um but um i would get one with a tank mine doesn't have one and it's and i wish i had when i got this new compressor i wish i had bought one that had a tank with it um just because I, I believe, if I if I'm understanding everything correctly, which I might not be, um, it the airbrush pumps up the tank, fills up the tank, and then you're drawing from the tank. Whereas the one that I have, every time I like, it has a very very small tank. So anytime that very very small tank runs out, the compressor kicks on. Um, and living, you know, in an old house on the top floor with neighbors, um, and or, you know. Not roommates, cause, but you know what I mean. Might as well be because I'm sure my downstairs neighbor has been listening to this us on this stream because he doesn't have a choice because he can probably hear every word I'm saying. So that said, I, I feel bad. I, I, I time out my airbrushing. I, I, I try to wait till he's not at home. Sometimes I just have to go for it because I got shit to get done or whatever. And I feel bad about it, but they're noisy little buggers. The vibrations but they're cool if you if you know somebody who's got one um, or like you know you can try one out for a bit I would say give that a go see if it's something you really like um, but it's but again it's hard because like it's a it's a it's a it's a 10,000 hours thing right like because you know your your skill slash competency in hour two of an airbrush versus hour 20 are significantly different But like the matriarch was a f absolute dream um, with the airbrush. I hummed and hawed. I had that model. I felt so bad. Matifia sent it to me. Matifia sent it to me as a pre-release, not like not with any expectation or anything. Like they're not Games Workshop, right? Where they're like, okay, we're gonna send you this model as a free promo, and now you've got 24 hours to turn it around, and it better be fucking immaculate, or else you're gonna get dragged on the internet. Um, so it's nothing like that, but they sent it to me as a pre-release because they're fucking amazing. And I was so scared. Like I haven't, I have like, I'm not, no pro here guys. Like you're watching me paint this model. It's mediocre at best, but like, I am okay. I enjoy what I do. And I think my models look okay when they come out time. Uh, but I was terrified. I was terrified to paint this fucking thing. And that was like a year ago, maybe not that long, but I finally said, and it was, it was the weirdest thing. It was the weirdest thing. It was like on a whim. I was like doing something completely different. And the model was just staring me in the face. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna paint that today. It had been primed sitting there for like six, eight months. And like two hours later, I was like, holy shit. This model's almost done. I put some more time into it since then. And um, and I really like it, but you just it just goes to show. I don't know what I was talking, saying with this story, but Airbrush, that's what I was talking about, but just goes to show you never know. It's gonna come and get you. I'm gonna do her skin. 
And then, uh, I'd probably I'd have to call it a day here, gang. Okay? We're getting close to eight. We'll get, uh, yeah, we'll get some layers done on Leia's, uh, gel pads. There's a good call. Yeah, they got the little, they got the little sucker dude doodads. That's why I usually, I'll just take it and, like, I put it on my lap while I'm doing it. It works. Compressor on a fluffy folded towel. That is, that is my go-to. Actually, I take, I take uh, one of the... Um, cushions off the couch and um, sometimes I'll put that on the floor or I'll just put it on the couch but uh, at any rate at any rate it's I mean I'm probably just being compulsive about it because I've been the downstairs slash middle stairs neighbor I don't know what that's like so try to be a decent human you know So just going Bugman's. I'll do a highlight and then a flesh wash. Same as Han, but skipping that Gilliman step because I didn't do the underpainting. This is how I did the flesh tones on the rest of my guys and it's been fun. But I'm liking uh, I'm liking Bugman's before it's 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 you know adding another step into the formula. Normally I would just do um, that kind of undercoating step slash Xenothal, uh, and then Gilman, and then depending on if I'm going you know lighter skin tone or darker skin tone, um, then just highlight with Caden flesh tone or. Um, or uh, actually, I really like this Gorthal Brown for for like dark skin tones. Because Gilman is great. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a good base tone. Like a lot of people are like, oh, it's only for Caucasian skin. But I'm like, really? I've gotten some really good looking, really good looking black slash brown skin tones using it as a base. But. There's other ways to go. Something fancy, that's for sure. It's a pretty bog standard flesh recipe. But adding the Bugman's Glow in there, it's kind of neat. Adds a little extra something something. Still don't know exactly where it flows, it fits, I should say, in my sort of vibe but i liked how it worked with han so maybe we'll try that again later maybe we'll try it on the uh comms officer lady when i get around to painting her which i guess will have to be tomorrow i was thinking maybe i could have got around to her tonight but starting leia full fresh i just been having fun chatting too oops i just like smashed my brush into the side of her Whoops. Oh shoot. Oh, she's okay. She's okay. I have to clean up this gun. Fuck it. I'm just gonna paint the whole thing. I'm gonna paint this whole part. I'm gonna paint this gun a different color anyway. Paint all of her fingies. The whole palm of the pistol here, more or less. Clean it up later. Cause sometimes I get lazy. I'm just gonna paint the gun black, probably. Anyway, with some. That gray, similar to how I did Hans there. Let's see if I can just get her arm down here. But I gotta say, this was an enjoyable, enjoyable way to spend an evening with y'all. Yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely do it more often. I don't know if I'll have the I don't know if I haven't got the juice for once a week just because the our production schedule is getting a little busy in a great way. Um, there's a lot of stuff I'm trying to do these days and trying to do it all is difficult and we're definitely nowhere near in like one of those higher uh, editor YouTube channels. That's for damn sure. But... 
this has been a lot of fun and I've enjoyed it and we're gonna do it again. Maybe we'll aim for once a month and do uh, maybe something a little bit different each time. Maybe uh, next time we'll be MCP or uh, Skyrim. Maybe because I got a lot of Skyrim stuff to get at actually. Dongars. I've got my vampires more or less good. Why do you always do base first? You know what? I don't. Um, I don't always. But this this army this army has or these armies I should stay um, have been in like different stages of getting painted for a couple years now and um, like different squads are in well, we're in different stages like I had I had two squads of stormtroopers um, that I'll be using in this battle and like one of them was pretty much painted but no bases were done the other ones the bases I, I had done some bases and so I just stuck them on um, but like the squad wasn't painted so so the, the, the short answer to that is this whole project is sort of in five different stages of things. I've been batch painting stuff. I've been sort of catch up painting on stuff to get other units up to where other units are. Um, and this weekend, um, I went on just a absolute um, basing spree um, because I knew that I was going to need like fucking 40 fucking 40 um forest bases so i had so some of my troopers were already based uh like based based some of them were some of them were in different stages of that so yeah it, it, it all ended up with that everyone who was on a base they got based and then i just made a bunch of forest bases um so so welcome to my mind, basically, when I'm painting two armies at the same time that are in different stages of assembly. I didn't even have the Leia model up until, geez, Friday, Saturday? I had to order it in because they had it at my game shop and then they didn't, as happens. New items come on the market. Yes, indeed you do. But um, yeah, so the um, that's the story of why everyone has a base but is not painted yet. Normally, I would not do that um, if I could avoid it. Depends on the base. Um, I am getting more into the like control of like, okay. Don't just assemble your model and start throwing paint at it. Like maybe think a little bit about should you do the base first? Should you do, you know, should you do sub assembly painting? How should you do these sorts of things? So trying to avoid that sort of scatterbrained um, project hopping. I mean, I say that, but I've got a Dark Angels army on the shelf that's like a land raider that's half painted, but also half built but also several squads that are all done and other ones that need, they're all based, but now they all need edge highlighting and there's a squad of devastators that needs to get stripped. So maybe my hobby ADD isn't getting better, but I like to think it is. Well, look at that gang. Leia's already looking, uh, you know, almost like a unit. That gray, that uniform gray has such a nice cool tone to it that it's really gonna take well with this blue. Uh, I'm going to, just for fun and shits and giggles, because we talked about it, I'm just gonna get a little bit of color on her uh, on her coat, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Just because I wanna see how this looks, this blue on top of the gray. So let's give it a go. And then you can know what to expect when the battle comes out in a couple weeks. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Oh yeah, that is gonna look cool. It doesn't look nearly as cool on the camera as uh, uh, as as it, as I think it's gonna look. Um, 
but just like a, I, I, th I don't think I'll need to do base coats. I think I can just do some highlights, and I think it'll bring in. I think because of the cool tones working together, it's gonna work real nice. But yeah, maybe I'll do a base. Maybe I'll, I will do a base tone with that blue, and then um, mix in some white and give it a highlight. But it's gonna work. It's gonna work, team. We're 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 in good shape. It's so subtle that like, I shouldn't be this impressed by it, but that's what I like it. That's why I like it. Oh yeah, that's gonna be cool. Righteous, righteous, right on gang. Okay, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it there, but uh, damn, this has been a lot of fun. Two hours just flew by. That was, uh, that was a great time guys. So um, I would get into Star Wars Legion or Marvel, but I don't have space or the time. Hey man, I feel you, I feel you there. The, Time in particular, the space, the space is, we're doing okay now in this new space. But um, yeah, the rest of it, the rest of it, the time, the energy, the money, not so much. But it's thanks to amazing folks like you that, um, that we're able to do this kind of stuff. So patrons, thank you so much. Uh, everyone, thanks so much for, for joining in and, and hanging out on the, uh, hanging out on the stream today. It's been quite lovely. Um, and I'm really excited. Uh, I think we had a lot of fun painting up Han here. So we've got Han and Leia. Look at that. That's going to be great. Let's get the whole uh, the whole rebel heroics here. See, you don't know that that's not Han. That gets the job done. But this was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, still some some work to do on Leia, and then just gotta get uh, this comms. Uh, she's gonna be the the spotter for my. Uh, I made it. Wow, where she's gone here? Yeah, sniper. Kit bash the sniper here too with a couple different kits. Um, so that's gonna be a Rebel Commando Strike Force, and she's gonna be the uh, she's gonna be the, the leader of that. So those are just the last two models, and then everything that's going to be in the game on Saturday is good to go. I'll uh, I'll pull over the bunker for anyone still watching, just so you can take a quick peek, because uh, I'm actually pretty proud of it. I don't know if you will see it too well. I'll show you on the camera. But it's the real deal, baby. I was so stoked on this fucking thing. This is an expensive piece of plastic, but um, but goddamn on camera, it's gonna look so 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 cool. But anyway, that's a little that's a little sneak peek. But uh, we'll uh, we'll wrap it up because we're gonna we're gonna get uh, well. I got I gotta get I gotta get working on a couple other things uh, video wise, uh, and then it's uh, yeah time to film this battle on Saturday. A couple more units left to go, and that'll be it. That'll be all. But uh, thanks so much for joining in, team. Really enjoyed this as well. Um, really enjoyed this as well, Chip. Uh, thanks so much for uh, for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, Ryan, let's talk Rendar. Absolutely, I would love to get uh, love to get my hands on that. Uh, 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 Shadows of the Empire themed battle report would be turbo fun, I think, because uh, that's so well, that's so fun. One scenario for not Han mistaken identity exactly. Cheers, everybody. This was a ton of fun. Um, yeah, we'll keep you posted on when we'll do the next one. Um, but um, yeah, stay tuned. In the meantime. I got a, uh, what do we have going on? Uh, next 2D20 live stream is in this weekend, but the weekend after. Um, so I think that's the next thing. Yeah, it's the next live stream. Should have another, we're gonna have another couple of rules videos uh, hopefully out before then. Uh, as well as, I don't think we have another battle, but hopefully we'll be able to get one of the reviews that I've got done, cranked out before then. So, got more coming, but thanks for hanging out. Thanks for talking Star Wars. Thanks for talking chats, and uh, yeah, next uh, next time we'll we'll uh, we'll chat something a little bit different. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll be back. And uh, not after these messages, because well, I'm not coming back after these messages. But we'll be we'll be back uh, on our next stream, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Adios.